Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get the Battle Net Launcher and effectively Diablo 2 Resurrected on your Steam Deck. This should work for any uh, Battle Net Launcher game um, like Overwatch, Diablo 3, although Overwatch has a Steam port so I don't know why you do that, but Diablo 3, Diablo Immortal, um, but I'm going to show you specifically Diablo 2 Resurrected because that's the only game I personally care about, but it settings will be the same for all the other games in the Battle Net Launcher. So the first thing you want to do is go into desktop mode. All right, from the desktop mode, you're going to go down to your browser of choice. Mine is Firefox. Chrome usually comes installed, I think, with them. Um, I'm going to go to Battle.net. Going to download the Battle.net launcher as you would normally on a computer. You're going to go to your Dolphin file manager. And there you should see the download. From there, you're going to open up Steam, not return to game mode. You're going to open up Steam in desktop mode. You go add a game. Add a non-Steam game. You're going to browse. Do your downloads. The Battle.net setup. Open. Add that selected program. Go to your library. There. Scroll down till you see Battle Net Setup. Right click on it. Bring up this menu. Go to Properties. Compatibility. Check this. Use Proton Experimental. And there you can exit out of it and run the setup as you normally would. Now, sometimes, just the way, I don't know, this launcher, it seems to kind of fiddle with the, with the Steam Deck. So my touchpad and joystick are no longer working, but if you press and hold the Steam button under the right, left, sorry, left touchpad, press and hold that and then move it, it'll work. That's how you get past this. So make sure you're holding that Steam button while you use the trackpad. It's going to update, do its thing. I don't want it to start. Now, here it's going to default to a typical Windows-based C program files. You have to change this. So I'm going to go set up folder in my Dolphin. I'm going to go home. Deck. You can set up this folder wherever you want. This is just for my my personal organization. And I'm gonna call this Battle. If you can hear that, my cat is has found one of my wife's hair tie and is losing his mind over it. Uh, Battle Net. Minimize that. You're gonna go back into your Battle.net installation, change the, the install location to wherever you set your folder. Home, deck, deck, game, Battle.net. Select that folder. There, now change. Continue. Now it's going to install Battle.net as it normally would. Now this is where you're going to use your, your Battle.net login information. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Now, if you have your authenticator on, like I do, you're going to prove it. All right, now that Battle.net launcher is done, installed, 
exit out of this and then blah, blah, blah. make sure there's no updates. Usually sometimes there'll be like an update and restart launcher here, even though you just downloaded it. All right, now we install Diablo 2 Resurrected as you normally would. Install. Again, having to change because it's going to default to the C. Changing that, I'm going to go put Battle.net. I'm going to put it in here just so I can keep all my Battle.net stuff together. Create a new folder. Again, you can put this wherever you want. I just have a specific way of organizing my stuff. So Diablo 2. Now that I have an install folder, I can do that again. This launcher, see, like I am moving my touchpad, but nothing is happening. So again, hold that Steam button and move your move your touchpad. Kind of overrides it. So I'm not going to go change my folder to that new folder that I just made. And then start your install. All right, I'm going to come back when this is done installing. All right, Diablo 2 is now officially installed, so we can go ahead and exit out of the installer, exit application. Okay, we're going to delete the Battle.net setup. From Steam, remove non Steam game from your library. Now we have to go back and add a non Steam game again. But this time we're going to actually add not the setup, we're going to actually add the launcher itself. Okay. So scroll to where you installed it. This is where, it, oops, this is where it's important to know where you installed it. And stuff organized quickly go the installer you want battle net launcher battle net launcher we're going to add that program now let it thing and be added here. Did it freeze? All right, I'm back. Sorry, that, um, it froze for some reason. But now you can go to your launcher. I am going to name, rename that. Go to the the launcher, and again, you got to go compatibility. Check that Proton Experimental. Now you can minimize Steam, turn to game mode. Once you're back in game mode, you can go to your library. It'll be a non Steam battle.net play. You're going to have to log in again. All right, so now that you're back in Battle.net, in game mode, gonna say you're not or you're just gonna say you're missing a game so just press locate then go ahead and find where you installed Diablo 2 
All right. Now press done. Exit. Now you can go. Oh, there's an update. It's crazy. We just installed it five minutes ago. And then from here, you can press Diablo 2. Press play. And there you go. Diablo 2 resurrected on your Steam Deck. So you just have to launch the Battle.net launcher from Steam anytime you want to play. I have not. Anytime I add Diablo 2 directly to, even if I do the Proton Experimental, I've tried the other Protons. Nothing seems to be working yet. I'm still working on it. If I can figure out how to add it directly to and have like just a click Diablo 2 in Steam and then the Battle Net launcher load up in the background, I will let you guys know. But as of right now, this is the only way I've been able to figure it out. And it just goes as normal. Now, the first time you're going to be connected to the internet, you got to check in every 30 days with this game. So, but yeah, there you go. Diablo 2 running natively on your Steam Deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like, comment down below. It helps with the algorithm, uh, get more people playing this game. It's amazing. It's the best game they've ever done. Best game they probably will ever do. Um, so yeah, let me know if this uh, helped you out or if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy demon hunting.